my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Chi-Town Girl, and I have a brand new, big Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. I hope everyone is doing well. What a day here in the Hudson Valley in the state of New York. It's been crazy. The weather, it's chilly today. I think the high was like maybe 50, 51. Then we had these weird rainstorms come flying through, and it's just been a mess. It's like, whew crazy day today. I tried to get some yard work done, but the weather was just fighting me the whole entire time. So I said, forget about it. And here I am with all of you. Alrighty. So this one's kind of big. I'm going to kind of judge how far I'm going to go. I'm not sure if we're going to make it through or not. If I don't, I'll do a part two, but let's get going. All right. So I'm just randomly moving along here. I have a huge, and when I say huge, yep, that's my laundry basket. I have a lot to share with you. So what I did was I just pulled out some heavy stuff that I had on top that I just didn't want to squish some snacks that I found. Okay, um, SC Johnson, which is Glade Spray, which is a brand name, um, the eight fluid ounces. And this one is Bubbly Berry Splash. And to me, that just screams summer. I never spray in the store because... I don't know about where you're from, but out here, the Dollar Trees have a funk of their own. And sometimes it's kind of scary. So I tend to smell my candles when I get home and smell this kind of stuff when I get home. And we shall see what happens. So what am I wearing tonight? I'm wearing Bubbly Berry Splash. Ooh, I can smell it from here. Definitely blackberry, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Now I want a big frozen margarita. Mm. And then I'll take a quesadilla. Um, I just want cheese, mushrooms, and steak. Big pile of refried beans and rice. Um, oh my God, now I'm freaking starving. Okay, I should have shut my mouth. Okay, it smells wonderful. All right, speaking of smells, um, Wizard, which is also another brand name company. This one here is also eight fluid ounces, but this one is in a spray bottle. And I've had this brand before, and the one I think I have in the closet right now is like Rain Fresh, and I love it. I love the fact that it's a pump bottle, because every now and then you get a funk in the house and you need to, you know, put a fire to it. Anyways, this one is Hawaiian Retreat. I'm not going to spray this one only because right now the one I'm smelling is the whole entire room just smells like fresh bowl of fresh fruit. It's really good. Um, anyways, so I pitched, I pitched, I purchased two of these and these are the Hawaiian Retreat. And what I can say about these are they're very, I mean, you get a little bit of coconut smell in there. You get, um, you know, it just smells like fresh mist, rain. Um, it's just got a nice summer smell to it. The guy next door was out cutting his grass again. And I had the bathroom window open and you could just smell the fresh cut grass. Not today, obviously, but this was the other day, like two days ago. And it just smelled so good. All right, some other cleansers I found here, and these are both paraben-free. They are 6.4 fluid ounces. The first one is Tea Tree Daily Cleanser. Hydrates skin with tea tree extract. Leaves skin hydrated and fresh. Now, my biggest thing about this, and I'm going to give it a sniff test, is if you're not familiar with tea tree, like tea tree oil, um... How's the best way? To, for people that get piercings, people that get navel piercing, like when I had my belly button pierced, um, I started to develop a little keloid. And we didn't know how it was going to go, uh, if it was going to be okay or if it was not going to be okay. So when that started happening, they recommended me to put tea tree oil on there. And it worked its way out. And so there was nothing. It worked out just fine. My belly buttons, you know, the way it is, it's perfect. Well, I don't mean perfect, but you know what I mean. The kilo is gone. Um, but tea tree oil itself is not a pleasant smell. Um, if you have a chance to ever just smell straight tea tree oil, ooh, yuck. It's not very pleasant at all. So I'm curious to see what this is going to smell like. Actually, I am extremely, extremely pleasantly surprised. 
It smells wonderful. Clean, fresh, um, aloe vera fresh. Okay, and then the next one I found, let me make sure this cap is on tight, because you guys all know me. The next one I found is also 6.4 fluid ounces, paraben free, melon, watermelon. So let me give this, I love the smell of water. I love watermelon. Watermelon is one of my very favorite fruits. Okay, whoops, I shook it so much. I got goop coming out. <laughs> I shook it so much, I got goop coming out. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I don't want a bunch of it going up my nose. Oh, and of course, some did. Watermelon all the way. I also love watermelon flavor, like candy that's watermelon flavor. It's hard to find watermelon flavor candy. Besides like um, Jolly Ranchers and stuff like that. All righty, so moving on, let's kind of stay in the same theme, so to speak. This is Spa Scriptions. I've never seen this before at Dollar Tree. This was a very, very super new find. It's made by Spa Scriptions and it's called Super Foods Exfoliating Cleanser. It is strawberry and is it pronounced Akaya? Akai? Akaya? I'm not sure. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong and I hate when I pronounce things wrong, but you know what? These things happen. I'm, you know, it's five fluid ounces. It says it's an exfoliating cleanser. Now, um, I'm not sure. Let's take a peek here and see if there's, this is the one. Okay. I have two and I took one and I opened it because it has a safety cap on it and one I took off. So there is basically what it looks like when you get it. It should look like that. But I had to remove that and I did that prior to filming just so I wouldn't, you know, have to put you all through that. And it smells very fresh. I mean, I can see by putting some on my hand. I'm not sure how well you can tell. I mean, the camera is more like right up there. But there are like some little beads in there for exfoliation purposes. So now what am I going to do with this on my finger? Because I didn't bring anything here to wipe it off on. Oi, Beth. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, let me get the cat back on. I know somebody is laughing at me right now. I hear you. And it's probably Patty or Linda. Okay. So, now what do I do with this? Okay. Okay. Well, um, okay. Hold on one second. Oi, Bay. Okay, I'm back. All righty. I'm not going to tell you where I wiped it. And trust me, you don't want to know. All right, moving on. <clears throat> My allergies are still going nuts. You know, I still have a migraine. I don't know what the deal is going on. I'm starting to think maybe it's not so much of a migraine as it is. Maybe I have a pinched nerve because it's like all wrapped in here. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. It's life. Okay. Uh, I could have had a V8. V8 energy sparkling kiwi strawberry hmm never tried it before it claims it has 35 percent juice i don't know i do love lemon i do love strawberries i love kiwis i love all those flavors it's 11.5 fluid ounce i don't know um i have to give it a try i've never tried something like this before it does say does it have caffeine in it no kidding. It gives you a little thing here about caffeine. I didn't think. It says steady energy from black and green tea. Oh, okay. So I guess, duh, Beth. I should have had a V8 because it says energy right there. Okay, moving on. <sighs> when I have migraines, sometimes... I'll sit here and talk total gibberish. And I don't mean to, but it's like my head just pounds sometimes so much. And then my eyes get fuzzy. It's just so weird. And maybe it's probably not a good idea to film when I get like this. Uh, because I've had a few of you make comments. Oh yeah, she's stoned. Trust me. If I'm stoned, I'll tell you. I have no problem. <laughs> you know, I'll let you know if you want to know. But no, when I have a migraine, it, it's so hard to explain. I can't even explain it. All right. Trident Vibes Sour Berry Twist. 40 pieces. That is definitely a bang for your buck. And the expiration date on this, I was shocked. It's not until December of 2023. I'm like, wow. So I don't know. Um, and the fact that it has a purple top. Woohoo! 
All right, some more from the beauty section and power stick for her. What I loved about this, and I did get two right away because I love anything that has shea butter or the smell of almond, which shea butter does smell like almond. Um, anything almond smell, shea butter, vanilla, I love those kinds of smells. So this is made by Power Stick for her, Beauty and Skin Care. It's a big old bottle. Um, actually, it's a squeeze tube, but it's 6.5 ounces, fast absorbing and quick drying. And I was pretty impressed because I took one of these and I also took it off uh, the top. And I was really impressed with the, I mean, for me. And in the winter months, my skin is like sandpaper. No matter what I do, they're always really rough. Um, in the summertime, they're fine. I have no problems. But for this, I usually have a hard time with moisturizing moisturizers soaking into my skin. But this stuff, I mean, I, you just saw me like rub my hands. It's already gone. Now, not because my hands are so dry, it needs it. Yes, but this just absorbs so quick and there's no residue. It's not sticky. It's not slimy. And it smells darn good. So I did grab two of these. And the weird thing was is I found these in two different places. I found these down the section where they have shampoo and conditioner, which I looked at at first and I'm like, well, maybe someone made a mistake because it clearly says right there, hand cream. So I found these in the cosmetic section and then I found them over by the shampoos and conditioners. And maybe somebody just clearly made a mistake, but just keep your eyes open for that because it's hand cream. Um, I have something right here on the top of my bin, so I might as well keep going. Another brand name, L'Oreal. L'Oreal New Air Dry It Ruffled, Ruffed Body Mousse. Um, Heat-free style, frizz-resistant, 8.3 ounce container. This is not a little small one. 8.3 ounces. It says, stronghold for waves and curls. Now... Let's just see here. First of all, you can tell that nobody's used it. Let me give it a good shake here. I'm just curious to see if it's kind of crappy foam or decent. I'm not going to have anywhere to wipe this, but I'll wipe it in the same place I put the other thing. Trust me, I didn't wipe it in a bad place. I wiped it on something that's completely washable. Not a big deal. All right, so let's see. Okay. Wow, look at that. It kind of looks like a snail. Doesn't that look like a snail? Look at that. That is a snail. I'm telling you, I'm going to be famous on YouTube for doing a moose snail. Tell me that doesn't look like a snail. That's a snail. Oh my gosh, I have a moose snail. Okay. It smells good. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to see how fast the moose breaks down. And it broke down pretty quick. So I'm, and the reason for that is because, and let me use my little towel I have over here. Um, the reason I did that is because sometimes mousse is real thick. And then once you get it in your hair, you can't do nothing. You get clumps of mousse. So what I did by doing that, it breaks down in the hair. So like if you're scrunching it, it makes a difference. I'm not a professional. This is just merely my own personal and it does smell really nice. It's not sticky like some mousses are. So take a look for that. Brand name you can never go wrong with. Okay. Um, I'm just going to start pulling from the bin. Vicks Formula 44. Been around forever. Brand name. This was 16 lozenges. Um, Reliefs, cough, sooth, sore throat, pain, irritation. Formula 44 Vicks. And expiration date is... September of 2022. So you're basically getting 16 throat lozenges. And then I found Vicks Formula 44D Maximum Strength Mucus Relief. For all, for all those boogies that you can't get out, you get 10 extended release tablets that last for 12 hours. Again, a brand name. Perfect to stock up in your um, cabinets or your closets for that time that you might need it because people still get sick in the summer months too. People get sick all the time. So rather have it than not have it. Okay. This was kind of a fun find and I purchased a couple of these because 
I've had <clears throat> knee problems, leg problems my whole life, probably because I was a cheerleader for a while. Um, yeah, we're going to get you. No. Okay. Um, and I've, you know, I've had some injuries to my knee throughout the years. Um, and I've seen these on TV, but I never wanted to pay the kind of money that they wanted for these. So for a buck, I was like, why not? These are the copper wear. It's 88% copper fiber embedded nylon. It is a unisex knee sleeve. Now, I know these were like really expensive when they were on TV. I don't remember exactly. Now, they only had the extra, extra large at my store, but really the extra, extra large, let me show you, is not all that big. So maybe that's, I don't know. I mean, I'm just guessing here, but it's a decent size. And I think you'll find that it will fit most. Now, does it look a little big? Yes, it does, but it's really not because you have to remember it's going around your leg and your knee. So you're going to have it wider up here for your thigh portion. And then as you go down your knee towards your calf, I do want to point out, What's really cool about these is they do have that rubber lining, so that gives you that non-slip. So when you're using it, when you have that rubber lining, not only at the top, but they give it to you on the bottom inside this thick band. Makes a difference. For those of you that know the difference, it makes a difference. So that was a great find. Even I think if you look up these online, they're still pretty expensive. Um, definitely a lot more than a buck. So I did grab a couple because I know a couple people that would be happy to have those in their life to help them out. All right. These are so pretty and they're so cute. So what I did was I got two of each. You guys know I know I'm bad. Okay. So, you know, Dollar Tree always has pillows, sequin pillows. Oh, like there's so many different kinds of pillows. Like upstairs in the upstairs room, I think I have, I don't even know. I lost count of how many pillows I have. All right. These are a faux fur. They measure 10 inches by 10 inches and they are square. Now, the very first color, I'm not sure how it's going to look to all of you. Well, on screen to me, it looks like it's a light. It almost comes, I hope it looks like gray because that's what color it is. It's gray. I'm not sure. Here's another one um, because I did get two of each. They're the same on both sides, but they're super soft. They're super squishy. Once you get rid of all the tags and the gunk like that, really nice. So I've got two gray. I'm just going to mound everything up behind me. And then I have, maybe if I put the two of these together, this would work. So you see the difference. Okay, so here's the gray and then here's white. Hopefully that makes a better view for all of you. Gray, white. So they had white, exact same size. So I got two of those. And it's almost funny because if you look at the pattern, I don't think it really makes a difference which way. To me, it almost looked like mermaid scales. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping out. See that? To me, it just looks like mermaid scales. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, so two gray, two white. Two pretty baby girl pink. Absolutely beautiful. I love the pink. I love the combination of the pink and the white. I think that's so pretty. And then I also found one in this teal. I love this color combination too. So pretty. So I ended up with two pink, two teal, two white, and two gray. Um, they're really nice. And they're always, you know, they're just decorative pillows, but they're fun. And like I said, it looks like a mermaid pattern to me. Maybe you can see it a little bit. Yeah, you can see that. See like the little waves? So I thought that was kind of cool. Also, all these are right here, so I'm just going to show them to you. Um, I needed some egg noodles, and I always get my egg noodles at Dollar Tree. They're the 12-ounce uh, bag, so it's the big bag. These are the wide ones. I use them all the time. I've never had an issue, ever. Okay, moving on. Let me just move my bin here. Okay, so I'm guilty. I probably had a little bit of the munchies when I went to Dollar Tree, but I found some new treats. And when I, you, I have no idea what that was. You, maybe that was my way of saying, have a cup of 
sip of tea from my new cup from Ray Dunn that I got about a week and a half ago because I'm a glamma. I am a glamma. <laughs> so I need a sip of tea. So bear with me. I actually have two and a half men on in the background. Oh, I'm telling you, it was a great show until uh, little old Charlie there had to play his crap. Okay, just my opinion. Snacks. When I first moved out to New York, everything was yodels, ring dings, hoo-hahs. I don't even know. I'm like, where's Hostess? Oh my God, don't take me away from Hostess. I had a hard time finding Hostess products when I first moved out to New York. I'm like, oh man, I had everybody from home sending me Suzy Q's, Ding Dongs, Ho Ho's, Twinkies. Now you're starting to find it more and more. Now I noticed that our store, um, that I shop more, I would say the most, is not a snack zone store. It is basically more or less a crafter store. It's not a bakery store. Actually, there's no bakery stores around me. Mostly there are crafter stores around me. And then what I'm meaning is the departments because some Dollar Trees have baking departments. Some have crafters departments. Some have um, food departments like the snack aisle. They call it the snack zone. So one of the stores out behind me has a snack zone, but it's like a ride. And I hate going that far just for the snack zone because then I'm really not saving. But I've noticed that the store that I go to most is starting to carry more and more snacks. So I was so shocked to find some Hostess stuff. I mean, I do find Hostess now and then, but now I'm really finding it. Now I just made a total long story short and I just totally rambled on with a bunch of nonsense you guys could care less about. But anyways, Hostess cupcakes, yum! Two in a package, the expiration date is... That's a good question. February of 20, what? February? Hold up, hold up. Are you kidding me? What is this? First people try to hack my account? August, I'm bad, I'm bad. August, anyways, two cupcakes, regular size cupcakes. These are the ones that are 3.17 ounce. So these are the standard size cupcakes. I was so surprised to see them at Dollar Tree. And then a two pack of regular size ding dongs. Do you guys remember when ding dongs, I'm going way back now, way back, way back. Ding dongs were wrapped in, I guess you would call it like aluminum foil, but they were wrapped in a foil. Who remembers that? Who remembers the foil on ding dongs? And then they went to this white plastic wrap crapper now. It sucks. But anyways, two ding dongs, two hostess cupcakes. So basically, you're paying $1 and you're getting two of the items. They had some Twinkies, which you got two in a package, but they were all mushed. I'm like, nope, not doing it. They had the Hostess Snowballs, but with the blue. And I'm assuming that's probably because that's, you know, I mean, they're super. Here, look, squish my balls. Look at that. They're super, super soft. The expiration date on these, now I got myself a little panicky about the dates. August 27th of 2021. So these are all good until August. So I did get two packages of those because grandpa is gonna flip. Then I hauled mm, like four or five days ago when I did a Dollar Tree haul, I showed you these in cherry. Now they have the Clover Hill Bear Claw Danishes in the Dutch Apple. And these are the full size, the 4.25 ounce size. Oh, Yum, these are really good and just, I like cheese danish. In fact, I have one in the kitchen. I don't need it, but I have one. Um, I've never tried the Dutch apple one, but what grandpa does is, I told him, I said, you know what? Just take it, put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, cut it in half, and then enjoy it with your tea or coffee. He didn't realize you could put it in the microwave. I said, well, obviously make sure you take your plastic off. He loves them. So these are all gonna go to grandpa. He is going to so enjoy all these treats. You know, sometimes um, I've had a couple people say, why do you get Grandpa so much junk? Grandpa is 81 years old and um, is living life to his fullest right now. So Grandpa gets whatever Grandpa wants. 
new fun and a new flavor for me. I've never seen this flavor before, but maybe that's just me. Mike and Ike cotton candy. <gasps> I was like, what? No way. I love Mike and Ike's. I've, I had to get two of these. I've never seen, I mean, we have Mike and Ike's out here, but I've never seen cotton candy ever, ever, ever. Maybe it's a summer flavor that I've just never seen. It's a full size box, five um, ounces. It's cotton candy flavored. I am so psyched to try this. When I checked out, the girl that checked me out, she goes, oh, have you tried these yet? I'm like, no, why? Are they bad? I'll put them back. She goes, no, they're really good. And she goes, we've already flown through three cases because they had them up by the registers. So I was like, ooh, so I took two. I have no idea what they taste like, but according to the cashier, they taste good. So you know who you are. I know you're watching this. And if you're wrong, I'm coming in tomorrow and I'm going to kick your butt. You know I'm joking, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, let's talk about something, I don't know, maybe on the personal side. Anyways, bath tissue. Let's show my age now. Do you remember colored bathroom tissue? There used to be a very, very, very light pink. I remember a very, very light blue, a very, very light green, like real pale. Blue, green, pink. I think those are the only colors I remember. Anyways, all this new scented stuff they're coming out with. Anyways, this was a little funky. I am not sure if I would use this myself. And it's, I'm just talking from a woman's perspective. This is Strong and Soft, which is Dollar General's brand. It's the two ply, it's their paper towel. Um, it's their toilet paper, um, but it is lavender scented. Now, they say that it's the scent in the tube. Um, I have one of these open, and I got to tell you, the toilet paper itself is very scented. I concern with, like, being a woman and, you know, you want your hoo-ha to stay fresh and all that, but I'm not so sure this would be the way to go for those of you that may have allergies or things like that. So, I'm just putting it out there. I don't know. I mean, it's just my opinion. I feel like the, pa the, the paper feels different. I don't know. Even though it says it's scented in the tube, I don't know. Just be careful. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't know. Um, I'm going to give it to Grandpa because, I don't know. I mean, his butt can smell like lavenders. I, I don't know. I just think for women, meh, just being honest. Okay, Juncture. It's a brand that I'm seeing more and more and more at Dollar Tree. Um, it is a brand name. They have socks I get all the time. There's been other items from this company I've got before. And now they have these like um, cloth tote bags. And are almost like a flower sack tote bag. So I grabbed a couple. They're really kind of cute. Let me give you a measurement because they're rather large. 12. They're 14 inches in width. And I'm gonna also not include these straps that you get because you get a set of straps. Let me give you a length. I wish they put the measurements on these things. All right, let me give you a measurement lengthwise because these are big. 12, 17 inches. And that's excluding the handles, which it's a set of handles that you get a set on each side. They're just tucked inside the bag. But let me just get that out of your way so I can show you. This one says, do small things with great love. Isn't that adorable? Now you only get the design on the front, which is totally coolio, but that is a nice big bag. And then, like I said, that measurement was without the straps. So I grabbed one of those. They had three different designs I found. I found a lot of new tote bags. So that was the first design that I found. You know, we have Mother's Day coming up, uh, all kinds of things. And you know, somebody who maybe enjoys books or you're gonna give something to somebody, put it in a tote bag and say, hey, keep the tote, you know? This one here, they're all the same measurements. This one says, you're a peach. And again, the handles are just tucked down inside the bag or else I have to rip it apart because these are a gift for someone. <clears throat> Excuse me. And last but not least, Good Vibes 
only. I liked this one because it was done in the blue. Like I said, there's no design on the back, but these are really nice. And <clears throat> if I give you a view here, just so you can see, they are stitched down the sides very nicely. They did a really good job. They're not like where it's thin and you can see through. I think they're going to hold up just fine. All right, let's stay with totes because what is totes? Let's see, it was funny. I was shopping the other day and this lady, um, I got mad at myself because I left my mask in the car. So I start walking, I'm like, oh crap, we all do it. So what are we now forgetting in our cars? We're forgetting to grab our masks. Then we're forgetting to grab our bags because you have to reuse reusable bags here or they hit you up to buy a bag anywhere from a penny to 10 cents, which is crazy, um, but I get it. So it was funny, so this, I'm walking out of Target, this lady's walking in, and then all of a sudden she does a U-turn, and she is flapping her arms around. I said, let me guess, mask or bag? She goes, both. She goes, so I'm not the only one. I said, no, you're not, ma'am. I said, have a great day, and we just chuckled at each other. All right, so again, with the same company, Juncture, these are tote bags as well. Now, these are quite different. These got a lot going on. All right, so first you got double handles. And right away, that's beach, totally beach, going to a car show, walking around, maybe just want a pair of flip-flops and a, you know, um, I was going to say a pop, but they call them soda out here. Uh, 12, that's the Chicago in me. So they are 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 inches in width without measuring the handles. They should put sizes on these. It would make my life easier. Um, 14 inches. Here's your bottoms. Boop. And then you do have some width. It's not much. Barely not much at all. In fact, I don't think you guys probably have much. Eh, a bit. But it kind of puffs out at the bottom. So I just want to give you an idea of you do get this amount of a pocket. I don't know if that helps. But your pocket, so it's not super slim, you got four and a half inches. Okay, so I found one in pink and white. Then I found one in green and white with these beautiful leaves. So this one has these pretty flowers. And then we have these pretty leaves. So this one is really pretty. And then for those of you that like your pineapples, we have that one there. How pretty is that? You know, I kind of wish they would have done it in yellow, but I think the yellow with the white probably wouldn't have worked. So I think that's why they did the orange, but it's definitely boing. And last but not least, and these are all the same size, is this one here. Those of you that are perfect idea for this bag, walking along the ocean, picking up seashells. That's one of my favorite things to do. I love to pick up seashells. Okay, so that's, um, no, I lied. I have more totes. Okay, I'm just going to stay on the totes so I can bang these out of here. All right, let me move this over and this because as you can see behind me, I'm getting more and more forward on the bed. Okay, these are the regular tote bags they come out with all the time. They're cute. They're like that plasticky kind of thing. Um, handles are tucked on the inside, so I'm not going to pull them all apart. So I found this one here that says One Nation. I really like that saying. I think that's great. Um, I like this bag. I, I really like that saying. It's very nice. The design is on the front and the back. I also found one that says Stars, Stripes, and Summer Nights. I thought that was super cool. Star Stripes and Summer Nights. What a great name for like a car show. Star Stripes and Summer Nights. Yeah, I like that. And it's on the front and the back. So perfect to use for around 4th of July. This I think is perfect to use any time of the summer. And that guy was so cute. You guys know what I did. Yep. Peace out. <laughs> I did get two. And look why, because they got ice cream cones and oh my gosh, look at the bullet, the red, white, and blue bullet cone. Oh my goodness, look at that. How cute. The design is on the front and the back. 
So I got two of those because I know that these are going to fly out of Dollar Tree super, super quick um, because they are so cute. All right. I wanted to give you guys another look at these trays because I did pick up two more. Um, I, I have visions in my mind of tiered trays and I know some of you had made comments like, you know what, are you going to do like a three tiered tray or something? And the possibility is there. I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to show you these trays again because they are so pretty. The camera really doesn't do them justice. All right. So these trays, if I measured again, I think they were a full, they're a full 12 inches. Okay. So here's the back of your tray and it's a pretty decent plastic. And then I call this like a lattice only because, but lattice is really, it just reminds me of something fancy. So here is your pattern all the way around the tray. And that obviously, you know, duh, that's your sticker that comes off. But your height, because someone had asked me about the height of the tray itself. And it is two inches. So you have quite a bit of height. So if you were to place a cupcake on there, it'd be perfect. I mean, yes, if you wanted to do like a tiered tray and you have something in the middle, you know, I probably wouldn't go higher than two. I think three of these, yeah, maybe for a wedding, um, but personal preference. Also, these can be spray painted to do any color that you want um, or hand painted. You just want to make sure that you're getting something for plastic. You know, I mean, obviously they're durable. I mean, if I will, they probably break but they do have some give. Um, I love them. I think they're awesome. Hopefully you'll be able to find them in your Dollar Tree. Um, I would love to get a couple more, but I think if I do, um, God knows what, I'll have them all over the house. Um, I think they're gonna be a really fast moving product. So if you do find them, grab them. It's just like Ray Dunn. If you snooze, you lose. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up for now because I gotta go potty. I gotta go pizzle and I can't pause my camera. That's how real I'm keeping it. All right, everybody, I will come back and finish the rest of this haul because I still have, I'll give you a sneak peek. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. And I need to make it up to y'all of you because I haven't been here for a day or two. We'll see you back later on tonight. Um, Okay, never mind. I'll save that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Crazy. I probably need some more medication. Until we meet again. <laughs> Bye, everybody, and have a great evening. Thank you so much for watching.